class students let us continue with the topic graphs so in the previous video I explained about the terminologies that we used on the graphs and uh, the different ways of representation of the graphs okay adjacency list adjacency matrix and incidence matrix now let us see the graph traversal actually we have seen uh, the same uh, the graph traversal so whatever the types of the graph traversal is the same for the tree traversal also we have taken the depth first search and the breadth first search if you have, if you want to search for anything okay so in the in the same way here also in this uh, graph we, we will see the two different techniques that is the dfs and bfs now let me explain a graph traversal is a technique used for searching a vertex in a graph so we have this is one of the method for searching a vertex the main thing is we are going to search for a particular vertex in the graph it is also used to decide the order of vertices to be visited in the search process the graph traversal traversal means we are going uh, visiting the nodes visiting the vertices so this graph travels is also going to decide the order of vertices means first which uh, vertex we are visiting and next which vertex we are visiting so it decides the order of the vertices to be visit in the search process there are two types of graph traversal techniques were there one is the breadth, uh, depth first search and the breadth first search so actually we had already seen what is a dfs and bfs in different topics when we are discussing about the trees and when we are di discussing about the stacks and the queues okay uh, now let us see how the graph whatever the graph that is there so the graph in the graph we are we want to visit the nodes if you want to visit the vertex you, you can follow two techniques the visiting of the vertex can be done in means of searching of the vertex in the graph can be done in by using two techniques of graph traversal either you can follow depth first search or breadth first search the main difference here is dfs uses a data structure of stack for storing the values in the form of stack and here bfs uses the data structure as a queue there is a only difference the way you are uh, visiting and uh, deleting the nodes from that memory it's in the form of stack and the queue stack is last in first out and whereas queue is first in first out by using these techniques we will implement the dfs and bfs now let me explain about dfs dfs is the depth first search the depth first search traversal of a graph produces a spanning tree so spanning tree means which is not completely connected it means it's open whereas the graph is a complete connected graph you it is uh, all the vertices will be connected the de depth of a search traversal of a graph produces a spanning tree as a final result whenever you are visiting all the nodes it produces the output as a spanning tree that is a graph without loops spanning tree is nothing but a graph without loops you call it as a spanning tree so here the depth of a search, uh, first search uses a data structure as a stack we use stack data structures with maximum size of total number of vertices in the graph to implement dfs traversal of a graph what it means so that status uh, data structure stack uses a maximum size how much of size it will be used whether it is a queue means if it is a dfs means it is a stack so the uh, the maximum size of the stack is nothing but the total number of total number of vertices that are present in the graph total number of vertices present in the graph uh, is the size of the stack first let me explain the algorithm after that i'll explain with example first define a stack of size total number of vertices for first you have to define the size of the stack that is the total number of vertices so so that you can arrange an empty stack on the memory with that particular size after that select any vertex as a starting point so whatever the graph you are taking just take any whatever you, it's your interest so based on your selection you can visit the nodes select any vertex as a starting point for traversal so visit that vertex and push it in on the stack so whatever the vertex that you are visiting that uh, vertex has to be pushed onto the stack one by one 
after one the edge send next edge send next that will be push on to the stack that is the second step visit any one of the edges and vertex of the uh, vertex which is at the top of the stack which is not visited and push it on the stack suppose if the vertex that is that it is not visited you just push that uh, vertex on the top of the stack suppose if you visit a first next you want to visit b b is not visited up to now so just put it on the stack next if you uh, the edges and vertex are b and c here b is already visited c is not visited so just put it on the stack like that okay so you have to uh, if it is not visited just put it on to the stack next step step 4 repeat 3 until there are no new vertex to be visited from the stack on top of the stack so just repeat that step whatever the previous step visit the edge and vertex and just place it on the top of the stack until there are no new vertex okay step 5 when there is no new vertex to be visited suppose if all the vertices that you are already visited then what you have to do you just use backtracking here in the here the pro, uh, backtracking will be occurred in depth first search so when there is no new vertex to be visited then use backtracking and pop one vertex from the stack whenever you are doing the backtracking just pop that element means delete that vertex from the stack that is the top of the element in the stack so repeat step 3 4 5 until the stack be uh, stack becomes empty so when stack becomes empty then produce final spanning tree by removing unused edges from the graph so this is a way you are going to construct the dfs graph so first uh, take the size of the stack means based on the number of vertices you can make the size size of the stack next take any one of the vertex as a starting vertex and try to visit that first and place it on the stack next whatever the edges and vertices for that stack that should be placed on the top of the stack okay you have to repeat until there are no more visited vertex okay so in this way you have to follow the algorithm let me explain the example then you will understand what a algorithm is so here i am considering the graph which is a, i want to construct dfs for this graph means i want to make it as a spanning tree the final output should be a spanning tree which is dfs in the form of dfs so step one what i said according to the algorithm so here the stack consists of one two three four five six seven so total seven uh, spaces will be there in the stack first select a as a starting point so here i am selecting a as a starting point and push onto the stack next in step 2 visit any adjacent of a so whatever take only one vertex now okay which is not visited that should be compulsory visit any adjacent of a either you visit d or e or b based on your interest okay but you have to make sure which is not visited that you have to be take so here b d e no one was uh, taken into up to now we didn't take any vertex now so just i am taking b and I am pushing onto the stack, top of the stack. Next step 3. Next, visit adjacent B. So now I am visiting B. Which is, uh, what are the adjacent vertices of the B? The B adjacent vertices are E, A and C. So here A is already visited. C is already visited. And, uh, sorry, uh, A is already visited. Uh, so the adjacent of B which is not visited is either E or C. So, just after B, I am just placing C onto the stack. Okay. Now, coming to the C. So, this is the top of the stack now. Now, coming to the C. Visit adjacent C, which is not visited. So, from C, which is not visited, E, F, G or not visited. B is already visited. So, from this, I am taking according to the alphabetical order. So, now I am taking E. So, just place E on the top of the stack. Now, adjacent of C which is not visited is E. So, that I am push onto the stack. Now, coming to. Now, the top of the stack is E. So, visit adjacent E which is not visited. So, the adjacent of E which is not visited is. Okay. Here, A I already visited. B already visited. C already visited. F and D are not visited. So, according to alphabetical order, I am placing D on top of the stack. Now, coming to the D. So, D is the adjacent vertex now. 
D is the adjacent vertex. Check here. There is no new vertex to be visited from D. So from D, A is already visited. B, E, C. So I am already visited vertex. I am placing as a uh, blue, blue circles. So A, B, C, E is already visited. So there is no new vertex to be visited from D. So what I have to do? I have to use the backtracking. What I said according to the algorithm, whenever you are performing backtracking, try to pop the element from the stack. So just delete the D element from the stack. Come back. So that I marked it as a red color. So I am coming back. Now check from E. So what are the adjacent vertices of E? D, A, B, E. Okay. The vertex that it is now up to now we didn't visit it is F. So which I placed as a black. The visited vertices I make mark it as a blue. And the deleted from the stack I mark it as a red color. So visit any adjacent vertex of V which is not visited. So up to now which is not visited is F. So F is placed on the top of this stack. Now coming to the top of this stack which element F. Now check from F which are the adjacent vertices which uh, the adjacent vertices of F are E, C, G. So from all these three G is not visited up to now. So we visit adjacent F which is not visited is G. So just push uh, G on top of the stack. Okay. So now coming to the G. The, just take the top of the stack. So whenever I take the top of the stack, I am checking now. From G, all vertices are I am visited. A, B, C, D, E, F, all vert uh, vertex I already visited. So there is no new vertex to be visited from G. So what I have to do? So whenever there are no vertex to visit, you just use backtrack. So whenever I am backtracking, so from F to G, I came uh, from F, uh, the adjacent I had, G, uh, F has taken G as an adjacent vertex. So I just use backtracking. So backtracking, whenever you are doing backtracking, just pop the element. So the G will be popped from the stack. Next, from F, there is no vertex to be uh, visited from F. So use backtracking and pop F. So this time, just pop F also. So just backtracking. So where it is come, it's just backtracking. Now pop F. Now E is the adjacent vertex. Now check from E. Which vertex is up to not visited? So that we have to be checked. So there is no vertex to be visited from E. So use backtracking. So where I had to go? Okay. So the backtracking. So from C to E we came. So just backtracking. So pop the E element. So after C, the top of the stack is C. So all vertex already visited. So use backtracking. Then pop C. So this time C was deleted from the stack. Next, the adjacent of C. Uh, next is B. There is no new vertex to be visited from B. So use backtracking. And again we reach the starting element. So just traverse from start and uh, came back using backtracking to reach again the A. So there is no new vertex to be visited from A. So use backtracking and pop element. So to, back, to perform backtracking there are no vertex to be backtracked. So just pop the element from stack. So now the stack becomes empty. So the stack became empty. So just stop the depth first search traversal. Find the result of DFS. Uh, final result of DFS is the spanning tree. How it came? According to algorithm, whatever the unused paths are there, just remove the unused paths. The unused paths are these, 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 these three or the and this one. These four edges are the unused path. Just remove those four edges and this is your final DFS cell, uh, depth first search graph, which is a spanning tree without closed loop. Thank you.